Hi, so for the last uh, of the series on, on bar charts, I'm going to actually do something which does, doesn't does relate directly to bar charts, it relates to all charts. And that's uh, showing more than one data series on the x-axis. So adding more layers of data and, and displaying them in a way that's uh, understandable. So uh, if you are watching this and you don't know some of these things that are going on here, just watch the previous uh, videos where I go through things uh, in more detail. I'll just run through most of this real quick. So let's load up some libraries and the data. Um, I already wrote it to the local directory, so it's open right here. And basically, uh, you know the data already. It's the, um, it's the Superstore data. So we want to see um, different product categories by uh, these uh, selected four um, uh, provinces in Canada and how many uh, order priorities each of them have. So if I just uh, insert a stacked bar chart here, that's pr pretty much what we want to see. We want to see furniture broken down, office supplies broken down, and technology broken down. So let's go back to R. Okay, and what we're going to do is uh, first let's uh, reshape the data to a pivot table with the product categories, provinces, order priorities, and t and count of um, order of count of orders. Then I'm going to set up my basic x-axis and y-axis uh, and coloring. So uh, I'm still going to put province on the x-axis, total orders on the y-axis. And you'll see what I'm going to do with the uh, product category in a second. So this is the original uh, uh, simple bar chart, just having all the provinces and order priority count. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, the base uh, the base data and add this facet wrap layer here. And what this does is add the product category um, into the uh, into the chart. So if we run that, what you get is the same thing that you got in Excel. I think it actually looks a little bit uh, neater, uh, just more well separated. So the furniture, the office supplies, technology broken down by the different provinces and uh, order priority count in each one. All the rest of the parameters seem to be working out quite well, so there's no real need to play with anyone, but you can just uh, uh, go ahead and try to nudge these uh, labels a little bit so they don't uh, overlap the axis, but I think it, overall it looks pretty good. So let's move on. So now I want even more data. So let's uh, add to the mix the uh, customer segment. So we'll leave the order priority here, product province, and uh, let's put customer segment in here. And so this does what we want, but it's a little bit noisy, uh, just a whole lot of information. So let's just pick uh, one product category. All right, so we got the furniture and how it breaks down across uh, the different uh, customer segments, provinces, and how many order priorities in each. So let's go back to R. And so we're reshaping our data now and adding the customer segment to the pivot table. Okay, so we got product category, customer segment, province, and order priorities. Same thing here, exactly the same. So we still have only the province and total orders. And to the facet wrap, what we're going to do is we're going to tell it facet wrap it by product category and then by customer segment. And you can just uh, you know chain these as many as you want. It'll just get very very noisy. So you might not want to do it. Now let's let's not filter out furniture yet. Just comment that out and I'll rerun this. And so if I plot this out now, 
you get a very very uh, noisy picture but th it's again like an Excel uh, just a little bit too much information on uh, on the canvas so you might want to water it down a little bit so let's have a look at furniture only and we're here we are so you get a nice breakdown and again I think that actually looks a little bit uh, more easy on the eye than uh, than Excel does it um, but the point is you, you can get as detailed as you want you can uh, switch the order so you can uh, get the customer segment first and then the product category if you want um, so that's it just use this as a template you know download the code uh, from the link below um, and I think that you'll pretty much uh, uh, be able to tackle 90% uh, of any bar chart that you need to um, to plot with ggplot with this uh, with this code just play around with the uh, with the parameters so I hope you found this useful um, good luck